This one and his beloved mate sought shelter, but there was none to be found. Urnabi, she didn't make it. Now I lack the will to go on. Our children will grow up without parents. They will be poor and destitute, and probably die young and alone. This one and his mate, we lost our way one night. We followed a light in the forest and wound up in this depressing place. We took shelter in a cave to the northeast, but that didn't work out so well. Especially not for poor Ernabi. We were attacked by Nilokilo and his monsters as soon as we set foot in the cave. This one and poor Ernabi fought our way out and eventually escaped into the wastes. This one's beloved Ernabi was wounded in the escape. She died before we could reach safety and find a healer. This one's claws will never be sharp again. You can come out and see in a moment. So, someone has come to help us at last. We're out here in the middle of Cold Harbor, and that's the best question you can come up with. I am most definitely not talking to myself. I am speaking to the alchemist. Be quiet, you mangy cat. I can't hear myself think with all that racket. Patience, sir. I'll explain everything. I am with the Mages' Guild. We stepped through the portal and wound up in this vile laboratory. Daedra experimented on us. They merged our two souls. Now we're wasting away as this soul meld kills us. Ah, to see out of Khajiit eyes again. The heat's being caged in that dark place. Yes, this one is pretty famous. Perhaps you have heard of Zer. But Zer must tell you, this soul meld is killing us. Will you help us? Will you unmeld our souls? Unmeld is so to a word. Pardon, the dwarven device that calls this is inside the laboratory. But Robo blocks the way. Collect Zer's notes and a bottle of pearl tincture. With those, this one can make a potion that will get you past the rubble. Questions are good. Ask and ask again. That is the systematic method of experimentation. Remember that you must know the rules before you can successfully break them. Their specialty is transmutation. Change one thing into another. So, not too difficult to change you from large to small. Then you can slip past the obstacles that block the entrance. Zer never said it would be easy, Dark Elf. Mind your tongue. Unfortunately, no. The soul melt weakens us, and we must conserve our strength. With the recipe and the ingredients, 
This one can make a transmutation potion and exert almost no energy whatsoever. A much better approach at this time, yes? Oh yes, we came to defeat the evil Moloch Ball. Or was it uh, Mene Marco? There forgets. So many bad things start with the letter M. But something went wrong and godless, and this one ended up here. That's when the Daedra melted our souls. You have no idea what it feels like to have a Khajiit scratching around inside your head. I know you said you were sorry, but the question has been asked. One of us is disorganized and enjoys experimenting with dwarfen machinery. The resulting explosion reduced the entryway to a pile of rubble and sent our supplies in all directions. Safe enough. We'll make our way to the entryway. We can manage a simple illusion to mask our presence. I wish we weren't so weak, however. I never realized. I never realized how my ability to perform magic defined me. Now that I cannot do the things that once came so easily to me, I almost don't know who I am. Having a talking cat inside my head doesn't help much either. A few of us arrived together, but only the Alchemist and I survived the experiments. Zer's explosion had one desirable side effect. It destroyed our Dremora captors. We have information vital to the Mage's Guild, should we escape this predicament. Over here. <laughs> this one used an illusion spell. Very little effort. Zer has found you. This one is so happy now. Zer thought this was where he left the tincture, so I came to investigate. Don't tell Godress that Zer was here. A simple illusion spell protected me. But. Godrish gets worried. Me? I like to explore. This one has always enjoyed trying new and different things. But this situation... It is very strange. Very awkward. Is that thought me, sir? Or me, Godrish? This one can never be certain where his thoughts end. And Godrish's begin. Very confusing, yes?
Zar told you our friend would find the scatters. You worry too much. Godris is upset because we had to hide behind some rocks. Undignified, he said. Well, Zer says that being eaten by a deformed creature is even more undignified. Quiet, Godris. This one knows what he's doing. This is most fragrant work, my friend. Most fragrant. Zer shall draft the potion immediately. It should make you slightly smaller. Certainly small enough to squeeze through the rubble. Uh, long enough to slip into the laboratory. A few minutes, uh, give or take. Now, let the think. Was it uh, six or seven drops of tincture? The thinks he saw some dried skate grow over here. Ah, yes, here it is. Ah, Zer's finest potion yet! You will drink it now, yes? This grows more taxing by the hour. Here is the potion. I hope Zer didn't cut any corners, but knowing him, it probably tastes terrible. Yes, Zer, I'll be sure to mention it. I am not a mixer of potions, and I don't want to debate the merits of alchemy with Zer again. But the cat knows what he's doing. Inside, look for my notebook. It lists what you need to craft the antipodal rods. Rods that will reverse the soul meld. Just find the components and craft the rods. We will try to recuperate and regain enough strength to teleport ourselves inside. If you have questions, please ask them before you drink the potion. Find the metallurgy workshop. My notebook should be there, placed neatly on a workbench. It contains a list of what you need to create the antipodal rods. Gather the items and craft the rods. The potion will work, you'll see. And know that I am grateful for your help. We both are.
Huntress's teleport spell worked. This one is here. Be careful, friend. The dwarven constructs have awakened. The hate standing in the green goo. No amount of licking gets it out of one's fur. Godress worries so much. He wanted to make sure you found the catalyst. The catalyst makes the rod strong enough to withstand both magicka and machinery. Two things this one likes very much. The basic ingredients can be melted. But without a catalyst to imbue them with strength and elemental... Alchemy is not boring, Godris. Ah, very well. Godris wrote about a proper catalyst for the antipodal rods. He wants you to read his notes. After the soul meld, the Overseer ignored us. The Dwarven constructs were inactive, so we were able to work here in relative peace. Yes, Godris. Everything was fine until Zer exploded something. The Dark Elf sure knows how to hold a grudge. Many things. The last one was pretty spectacular. It was an accident, of course. Godris was so mad because we were forced outside. But it proved his first suggestion for a catalyst didn't work. So, the experiment was successful. Show off a little.
Teleportation was never this difficult before. The spell took so much out of me I was afraid we would never materialize. But Zer has the key to this room. He acquired it shortly after we'd got here. Were you able to craft the antipodal rods? We are so close. You need to use the rods to activate the dwarven device that performed the soul meld. Oh, and the crystal. I'm getting as careless as Zer. Uh, look for a glowing crystal. The overseer placed it in the machine to power the device. Ah, well, in a manner of speaking, understand that Zer and I do not have two separate bodies to return to. But if this works, the soul meld won't kill the both of us. The magic will separate the intertwined strands of our souls, but only one of us will survive the process. Do not be dismayed. We rejoice at a chance for one of us to survive. Go on ahead. We will meet you inside momentarily. Stop shouting, Zer. What? Oh, yes, of course. No, you're right. Zer reminds me that you have been most helpful and we need to rest anyway. So I decided not to cut you off with a snide retort. Please accept my apologies and ask your questions. Based on our own experience, it appears that merging two souls into one vessel causes an internal storm as the souls buy for control. It takes all of our mental fortitude to maintain our individual personalities. Then nature takes its course, but at least we will have tried to beat this. At least one of us has a chance to survive, and know that however this ends, I am grateful for the aid you have provided us. If the device works the way I expect, then the person operating it will decide which of our souls survives the reversal process, and which is discarded. I guess it will be up to you to choose who lives and who dies. Well, I could make a strong case as to why I should be the one to survive. My qualifications, my experience, my worth to the Mage's Guild. But the truth is, I have grown fond of Zer. My right to survive is no greater than his. I cannot advise you. The Overseer's in there. He put us into this Dwarven machine. He's dangerous. Do not worry. This one is not afraid. The process can be reversed. Our research tells us this. There is optimistic. And if I die, then it is just on to another adventure, yes? Some theoretical extrapolations of what Godris excels at, and this one's experiments support his research. We believe the device can be forced to unmeld our souls. In any event, we won't survive the soul meld. At the very least, we must try. What's that? Yes, there will pest it along. Now, quiet, please. The Overseer's in there. He put us into this dwarven machine. He's dangerous. Many of the constructs that roam this place are under his control. Godress recommends killing him quickly. We are very different. Zar has learned much sharing a dark elf's mind. Few Kashit experience such a wonder, yes? Godress will do many great things, provided the unmelding works. And so will Zer. But this one would never choose himself over another.
I wasn't sure the illusion would last long enough to make it across the chamber, but it did. As the Indu Brutus, this one must admit that he will miss our time together. This one can't believe you crossed this chamber without so much as an illusion to mask your presence. You are so brave. This one, there's whiskers were twitching inside the Dark Elf's head. Next comes the exciting part. You test our theory. See those two pillars? One represents Zer, the other Gadris. Insert the antipodal rods and turn on the device. If it works, you should be able to separate our melted souls. Yes, as we have explained, one body, one soul. At least one of us will survive to help the mage's guild. This one knows you will make the right decision. Place the crystal into the machine, then insert an antipodal rod into each pillar to start the unmelding process. One of us must be saved. I'm grateful that you chose to save me. Still, I... I feel a bit lost. I wish... I wish Zer was still here. I'm not sure if I will ever be all right, but I live. I'm ashamed that I thought Zer was silly and scatterbrained. My time melded to him taught me so much. Zer had a good soul. I believe that the crystal powering the device is one of the fabled lights of Meridia. Grab the crystal and meet me outside. You should be able to open the exit door. With my strength returning, I can teleport myself to a safe place. Thank you again for your help, for choosing me, but I wish that both Zer and I could have been saved. During our time together, Zer and I determined that the Dwemer device has similarities to the method Molag Baal uses to perform the plane meld. I will honor Zer's memory and give him credit for this discovery. Thank you again, friend, for saving us. Now that my strength has returned, I can open a portal to the Hollow City. This portal will only remain open for a few minutes. I hope to see you again in the Hollow City. Big mistake.
bet they weren't expecting that. to enchant something with that? Can I watch? They've been captured. I arrived with a few other wizards, conjuration masters. We helped open the portal to Cold Harbor. Unfortunately, we didn't arrive where we expected. A defensive countermeasure, I think. Molag Baal's forces were upon us in an instant. They were captured by Daedra, led by Judge Zivan. In the confusion, I managed to slip away. I've been scouting around in scamp form ever since. The mages are on trial inside the Hall of Judgment. I could hear Judge Zivan shouting at them. We must help them. A magical barrier shields the entryway to the Hall. It's powered by elemental crystals. We must destroy the crystals and collect a key to open the gate. You must hurry. Daedric justice can be swift. Collect the gate key from the coffer to the north, and destroy the three crystals to bring down the barrier. There's one crystal in each tower. Meet me near the Hall of Judgment's entrance when you're done. I'll continue scouting until then. Major's Guild Warlock and Master Conjurer at your service. I'm an expert on the Plains of Oblivion, so I was an obvious choice to undertake this mission. I was raised on the Shivering Isles, so I am intimately familiar with Oblivion. A trick I picked up made it easier to get around the Shivering Isles. I was using it to scout the area when I saw you approaching. Some consider my methods unorthodox, but the results speak for themselves. I certainly wasn't captured by the Daedra. My, nothing gets past you, does it? Though I was born on your world, I grew up in oblivion. It gives me a rather unique perspective that the Mages Guild often makes use of. Judge Zivan has them on trial in the Hall of Judgment. From what I've been able to overhear, it isn't going well for them. To get inside, we need to bring down that barrier. Then the mages and I can get back to the mission that brought us here. The three elemental crystals, yes. But more than that, we also need a key to open the locked gate. I saw them place the gate key in a guarded coffer in the northern section of the ruins.
The trial is over. Judge Zivan found my companions guilty and sentenced them to death. They were taken to the cells below the hall while preparations are made for the execution. I'm working on a distraction to cover our escape. Did you find the key? Is this really the time for idle chit-chat? Oh, very well. We are master conjurers. Our job is to stabilize the portal so that more forces and supplies can be brought from Nern. Until we do that, our troops will be at a distinct disadvantage here. An excellent suggestion. There's no time to waste. Let's get inside and free the others. Oh, good. A guard. And I thought this was going to be boring. Come and be judged! Excellent. Head down to the holding cells and free my companions. I'll guard our way out of here. You're no guard. Grab that key on the table and open these cages. Vice, you've got to help us. The fresh air of freedom. Thanks for opening that cage. Great rescue, but now what? Do you have a plan, or are we making this up as we go along? Oh, a familiar face. This one didn't recognize you at first. But you arrived just in time. Tarami thought we were done for once Judge Zivin sentenced us to death. But how do we get out of the Hall of Judgment? They're not going to let us simply leave. The trial was a farce. They just wanted to make us squirm. Judge Zivin went on and on about fairness and equitable treatment, but he decided we were guilty from the start. Malkur? Well, why didn't you say so? Tarami wondered what happened to him. But this one has had enough of this place. Let's get out of here. They cast a shield spell on the gate. We're trapped. We'll deal with the gate. Just keep them away from us until we're done. You have been judged! Cause trouble, no and you'll be escape. sorry. I think this has gone on long enough. Time for you to die now! is death. Myself. You've been judged and found wanting, Sivan. 
Enough fun and games. Let's get out of here. The diversion I set up is working. Hurry before the Daedra notice and come after us. That was more exciting than Tarami anticipated. That was too close for comfort. I'm a conjurer, not a battle mage. Anyway, thanks for getting us out of those cages. I appreciate it. I never expected to have to do battle with Daedra. I rather enjoyed myself. We fought well, didn't we? I think we might just have a chance at turning this disaster into a successful operation. We've opened a portal to the city. Feel free to use it if you want. We're in your debt. Without your help, the others would still be locked away, or worse. We'll get to safety and begin stabilizing the portals to Nern right away. All right, let's head out. We've got portals to stabilize, you know.
This one and his beloved mate sought shelter, but there was none to be found. Urnabi, she didn't make it. Now I lack the will to go on. Our children will grow up without parents. They will be poor and destitute, and probably die young and alone. Did you run into the Dremora? Did you make them suffer for what they did to this one? To poor Hernabi? Aherun's hopes that you killed many of the unclawed dung sacks. This one's beloved Hernabi dropped it while we ran from the Dremora. Aherun's never thought he would see it again. It must be a sign. Hernabi doesn't want this one to give up. Thank you. Thank you for giving Aherons the strength to go on living. This one shall miss you, my beloved. But this one must not despair. This one has children, young ones that depend on me. Aherons shall find a way to return to them. On this pendant, so Aherons swears.